there are two huge military shooters coming out this year, Battlefield 3 and, of course, Modern Warfare 3. But the question is, at E3, how do they stack up against each other? We check them out. I just got to play Modern Warfare 3. What I got to play was Spec Ops. And what that is, is it's kind of like a, it's like a horde mode. You're constantly being attacked by waves and waves of enemies. They really improved it for Modern Warfare 3. There are lots of bonuses, lots of upgrades to buy, different weapons, but there's also some improved AI. And what's really great is that you can actually buy your own AI now. You can actually call in your own squad to fight with you. Uh, the gameplay feels as tight as it's ever been for Modern Warfare 3. The missions are a lot of fun. It's, you know, it's, of course, it's especially fun to play with other people and just go as far as you can and freak out and panic and, and just see how high of a score you can get. But one thing that's really nice is that they're actually using multiplayer maps instead of single player maps. That means that you, you know, on your own time, can just play these Spec Ops missions and get, get familiar with the maps for multiplayer before you go against other people head to head. So you can really get a, fee, a feel for the maps, a feel for where you need to be. And it's a good way to like train up to be like, you know, a badass in the future. So that's our look at Modern Warfare 3. Now we're going to.